hello to all my friends out there. So Christmas is coming and you're saying, wow, I need money and I know I'm not going to have any money. I guess we're just not going to have any Christmas. Okay, now wait a minute. Let's not get hysterical, okay? I bought these watches all year long, but it is not too late to buy stuff. Okay, I was telling one of the girls at the thrift store, what I do is I go to the swap meet when it's just about ready to close. And that way, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes people sell stuff cheap because they want to get their $30 to pay their way in, you know? So one day I was there and I bought this watch. I was trying to get this watch and I said, how much? And he said, $50. This is actually a nice watch. New, these are $100. It's still got the plastic on the front. But when I sell it on eBay, I will sell it very, very reasonable because I just want to sell it. I can get more. So I bought this watch. This is a $100 watch. This is really nice with some crystals. And I got this watch. And then I... I I've dug around in his stuff and I got four more watches and I said how much for uh, all I think it was six and he goes well how much would you pay and I said 20 and he said at least 30 I have to make some money so I said okay so I bought six watches for $30 and these two watches right here are $200 it doesn't always have to be that dramatic. I popped into the thrift store and I got this nice, I try to find the square dials for women because I love those watches. And I will probably keep this watch, but I could sell it if I was desperate for money. And uh, I need a little uh, repair on the clasp. Then I bought these three watches back here, these white dial men's watches because they resemble an expensive watch. I sell them cheap. Maybe uh, $20 maximum, maybe less. And then this is a really nice Pachanga watch. And what this is, usually you have to be a member of the Players Club or the Diamond Club to get this kind of stuff. And this is actually a really nice watch. And it resembles an expensive watch. Okay, this is a glittery watch. This is just a pretty watch. Oh, this was one of the watches when I was digging around finding the six watches. And then this watch is nice because it's got the date window and it's it's pretty. And, you know, I can always sell this if I price it right. And then I bought this watch. And uh, this watch, uh, I was planning on paying. See how it's got some little uh, crystals? So it's really pretty. It's like a women's um, bracelet watch. And I bought it for $5 because someone had popped the back off as to why they did that it might have popped off by itself i was going to pay ten dollars but when i saw the back was popped off i said no and then this is an interesting watch because this is a sarah coventry watch but this is a real pretty uh bracelet watch good to sell around christmas and then here's another women's white this is ann klein but it's used, but it's really pretty, and uh, I should be able to sell that. And then I bought watches in bulk, and this is a brand new, uh, and really, I was unimpressed, but I tried it on, and it's really, really pretty. It's a Betsy Johnson watch. So what I did is I just, you know, stockpile watches. I didn't pay more than about $5 for them because you have to get batteries and then sometimes uh, they don't work. I bought a Seiko watch, you know, it was like an older Seiko watch for my son and I took it into the lady and I mean, she could fix anything and she goes, oh, it's not working. And I, I said a bad word and I thought, now I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to screw with these people and try to get my five bucks back. And so I was walking over there and I had it on my arm like I did this one and and it skipped ahead two minutes and you know it's been running ever since but that doesn't happen every single time. So if you guys have um, swap meets or um, what are those things, bazaars or you know yard sales and you know sometimes you can pick up some good stuff. Uh, I bought FBI pens 
at the same time from this guy and what he did was he bought um he bought uh storage units you know that people didn't pick up so if you wisely disperse with this stuff, this is going to give you a nice little pile of money for Christmas. And it is not too late to find stuff. What I do is I go into thrift stores and I browse around. Okay, what I did uh, today was, uh, well, what I did when I was looking at this one is, I think it was priced at 20 and I go, wow, you know, for a used watch. And she said, well, it's nice. I go, yeah, it is nice, but, you know, it's used. 